He's joining us now via the magic of Zoom. There he is. Hey, Chris, how are you? Ariel, what up? It's popping. What's happening, man? Good to have you back on the show. We had yeah. you in July when you sat in for uh, Nathan when you went to the bathroom. Now you're actually on the show as a guest. Yes, yes. Thank you for having me. Um, so good to have you on. Have me, yes, of course. October 29th in Glendale, uh, Gila River Arena. <laughs> Be honest with me, Chris. You're fighting a guy named Dr. Mike. This guy's a massive deal on YouTube. Did you ever hear of Dr. Mike when you were approached about this fight? I've never heard of him before um, I was offered the fight, but um, I, by looking him up, he looks like he's uh, he's been boxing. He's, um, I'm taking him as an actual boxer. He's uh, making his pro debut, so I'm sure he's he's got some skill set and uh, I'm taking him serious. So I'm not looking at him. I'm not overlooking him and thinking that he's just a YouTuber or whatnot, you know? How do you feel about fighting? I, but no, I've never heard of him. How do you feel about fighting a YouTuber? We're looking at his uh, page right now. His topology page is him in a, in a doctor's outfit. But I see his videos. He's very popular. 8 million views, 7 million views. But now you're kind of crossing over into this crazy world. How do you feel about this? I feel like uh, it's a good opportunity to... Uh, show everybody who I am and, and, and get my name out there as well. And, um, dude, I don't know. I'm excited because, uh, I'm, uh, headlining. Oh, I'm not headlining the pay-per-view. I'm starting the pay-per-view off. I'm um, fighting a guy who gets a lot of views and he's, he can, he sells tickets and, and whatnot. And I'm excited to, uh, go out there and, and show everybody who the real fighter is. And, and I see everybody, I see everybody like the new, uh, the era right now is all these YouTubers coming out and trying to get in the fight game and uh, trying to fight, uh, trying to fight anybody like a real fighter. You know what I mean? I'm, so I can't hear with these headphones. Can I take these out? Sure. Go ahead. Sorry. No problem. I can't hear myself. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to finish your thought or are you good? Uh, yeah, where were we? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it, I'm excited. It's a good opportunity to fight uh, Mike Wachowski. Okay. Um, and... And just curious, what are you enjoying more now? Like, are you a full-time boxer now, or are you going back? Like, which which sport do you actually enjoy doing more, boxing or mixed martial arts? I would like to pursue my boxing right now. You know, my last fight was a boxing match. It was uh, on the last Jake Paul card. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue fighting both. But for right now, I would like to just continue uh, boxing. And uh, I have uh, a lot of plans and uh, a lot of big fights ahead of me after this fight. Just, I, first, I just want to get through Mike. <clears throat> and then um, I have uh, a lot of plan. I have big plans already set. So first things first is get through Mike and um, continue boxing for sure. Okay. Yeah. What, are the, what are the big plans? Can I ask or are you going to keep them uh, a secret for now? I'm not just going to, I'm not going to name drop anybody, but, uh, I've been, uh, in talks already with some, uh, pretty big names in boxing. So, uh, just got to get through Mike and, uh, uh, yeah, plan on, uh, getting in. Yeah. yeah. I heard, a, I heard a rumor. Also, yeah. Were you in talks to fight Chad Ochocinco? Yeah, I was, uh, I was supposed to get on that card with, uh, that MSG card, the one that fell through with uh, Jake Paul, and yeah, the other guy, yeah, Rahman. So yeah, I was supposed to fight him. I was supposed to fight him that day or on that card, but then that fight fell through for me, and then it just kind of happened. The whole the whole thing fell through. So, uh, yeah, maybe uh, later on down the road I can run it, run it through with uh, Chad. So these uh. The, the Jake Paul team, the MVP team, they seem to really like you. They seem to be uh, 
very open to having you on the cards. How do you feel like they uh, they treat you? Do you like the way that they uh, do business with you? Yeah, I I like the way they've been treating me. Uh, I appreciate the fact that they're giving me a lot of good opportunities and stuff like that. So I have uh, nothing but good things to say about them. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm excited. I'm happy to uh, be fighting for them this October 29th. Uh, they so, treated me good back in uh, December. Right. Yeah, back in December, they treated me well. They treat. They're continuing to treat me well now. So, all good. All good for uh, MVP. Okay. Um, and just to be clear, this fight against uh, Doctor Mike is it four three minute rounds at 185 pounds? Do I have that correct? Yeah, it's a four round fight. I try to get a. I try to get more rounds, but. They only wanted uh, four rounds, so I'm 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 game for anything. So four rounds is cool, cool with me. And you cool with eighty five? You like eighty five, or do you like a little lower? I'll fight any. I'll fight anybody at any weight. Uh, I'm I'll be at eighty five on on the 29th. But uh, uh, you know, my last fight was sixty eight. My whole career, I I've been fighting him uh, at fifty five and forty five, but. Uh, matured a lot more, so I'm sitting around there anyway. So, 80, 85 should feel normal. To nope. me. I know Mike. He he's a pretty big dude. Yeah. He's got he got a height advantage on me and uh, the weight, but the weight's no issue. For me. Yeah. Is there? I'm, I'm used to be training with bigger people anyway. I'm, right. I train with beast all day long, so I should be ready. I should be ready for it. Is is there like a pressure? Like you can't you can't lose to a guy named Doctor Mike, right? I mean, you're from a proud team, a YouTuber. Do you, do you put that kind of pressure on yourself? I mean, I guess it's normal, you know. Like, who wants to lose to a guy who's a doctor? <laughs> right. I, I, I'm not trying to lose to no doctor. Right, come on. Yeah, I agree. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm training. I'm training like I. I I would like if I'm fighting Mike Tyson. So okay. I'm not, I'm not not training like any funny shit. So. Is it is it hard when there's no footage basically to watch on your opponent? Yeah, a little bit, but it's uh yeah, there is no footage on him. But no. I know uh, he's training out of New York. He's out in New York at a gym, uh, last round boxing gym. Cause he's been training with uh, some guys out there, uh, so uh, I know he's he's taking his chase, and uh, I'm watching, I'm watching what he's doing. Okay, you watch his videos? Do you like his videos? <laughs> like the, his his uh, commentary videos on medical stuff, doctor stuff? You see that stuff? You like it? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> it's not your thing. You're not the market. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Okay. Um, and also, you know, I, I got to ask, we just saw you and the whole crew a couple weeks ago. Could you tell me how crazy was that week in Las Vegas? I mean, I still can't believe how it all turned out with Hamza missing weight and Nathan fighting uh, Tony Ferguson and winning. Could you just describe how nuts that was for you guys? Yeah, it was a crazy two weeks. Well, we were out there for a week, two weeks. But uh, the whole time, yeah, it got crazier and crazier day, day <laughs> by day. Uh, yeah, but that whole turnout was fucking insane. Um, comes out thing, just that that uh, was very unprofessional of him. And, uh, good, good, uh, good things happen to good people. So. You see, uh, Nate's, Nate's a fucking good dude, and fucking comes out's not too good of a dude, and he's a piece of shit for fucking missing weight, and that's on him. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get that back. So whatever. That's a that was two and zero for Nate, dog. Yeah. That was two wins, one one week. Some might say it was three wins. It was a win over Hamza, a win over Tony, and a win over the UFC because. They were trying to kind of give him the old screw job on the way out, right? 
Yeah, that was dirty, but they got they got pretty exposed right there by Nate. Uh, yeah, it was a good turnout for Nate, and uh, it all just favored. You know, it was crazy. It was crazy. Incredible. Now we'll we'll. It was cool that he got to fight Tony. Cool you got to fight Tony though. Tony's an OG. Yeah. He's been the he's been the UFC for a long time too. Yeah. They were they were uh, all that talk of. All that talk of Kamza over here going to destroy him woo, 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 was bullshit anyways. I think the fight would have turned out the same way it did with Tony. 100%. You think Nate would have uh, subbed Kamza like he subbed Tony Ferguson? I believe so, yeah. Either standing or, or, or the same way, yeah. What's, what Kamza would have done was just fucking hold on for dear life. Scared as fuck. Yeah. Um. Right. Uh, I saw you. You were cornering Nathan that night. Uh, will Will he return the favor? Will he be in your corner on October 29th? Um, I'm not too sure yet. But if he wants to, yeah. If not, I'll be good. I know. Last fight, he, my last boxing fight, he was off to the side. So we were right. communicating through. I don't think he likes to do the, the corner thing, so uh, that's all good, yeah. But uh, for right now, I got Ernie Reyes, uh, Randy Spence, and uh, I'll pick the other two when it gets a little closer. But Ernie Reyes is the man. Yeah. You know, legend. Ernie Reyes, right? Yeah, of course, of course. And his dad's a legend as well. Uh, Ernie Reyes Sr., yeah. Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, yeah, I saw when Nate was sitting uh, close by. So you actually communicate with him when you're fighting. Like, even though he's on your corner, you can still hear him or at least make some kind of contact with him? Yeah, it's the same as, like, at the gym. You know, he's watching my sparring or whatnot. Uh, he's off to the side. He has some tips to tell me. Well, it's a lot easier to tell me in the gym. But sure. off to the side, I knew where he was, and I could see him. I see everything that goes on when I'm in there. So, uh just like I treat it as if I'm in the gym and I can hear him, I, can, I know what he's. I know what he's trying to tell me. I know. So that was happening the last fight. Uh, this fight, I'm not too sure what's going to happen. So okay, might be in the corner. All right. Uh, by the way, I see that you're rocking the uh, the real fight Inc. shirt, which was announced around the time that he uh, last fought. W are you fighting under the real fight Inc. banner here when you fight on October 29th? How does that work? Yeah, I, I believe I am kickstarting the. I'll be the first fighter to represent the real nice. fighting. And, um, so, and then, yeah, we got a whole army afterwards. And then I know he's got plans. Oh, well, real fighting is, uh, soon. Right after this fight, I plan on uh, for doing a pretty big fight card with real fighting. And I got some pretty big names that. Uh, I should be fighting on there, so that's coming soon too. Wow! That's real soon, actually. That's exciting. Twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three? Um, twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. 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 Twenty twenty Nathan, if, if it all works out for Jake on October 29th, how do you feel about that fight? Is that something you'd, you'd like to see? Yeah, whatever Nate wants to do, you know. Uh, I, I like that fight, though. So I think that's a, uh, a very winnable fight for Nate. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Uh, I know he's only going to fight big names like that, him or... Uh, his brother Logan. Right. That'd be a good fight too. I'd like to see that fight. Who do you think wins, Jake or or Anderson, on October 29th? Who do you think wins? Yeah, that's a tough one. You know, I'm calling the fight, so I'm not allowed to say. That's a cop out. Are you gonna be there? I'm, gonna I'm gonna be like there, the of course. Fight? Yeah, I only go to Chris Avila fights, by the way. That's the only ones I leave my house for. You know what I'm saying? I I'm, thought you hated me since uh, what? 2016. Huh? Well, because you because you no showed the show. I never, I ain't never gonna go on aerial show. You no showed us, remember? I didn't no show you. I have. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. I love the. You know. Yeah, I was on. 
I love the entire uh, Nick Diaz army, every single member, even my good friend, Jake Shields. Both of us, we hang out, we wear masks, we take vaccines. It's a great time. <laughs> Jake, don't. <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> Jake's crazy. Man. This guy's crazy. Uh, no, I got love. No, no, no. That, uh, no beef whatsoever. And I was at your fight in, uh, in December. That was a great scene. You got a great win. And I think this card is going to be even more fun. I mean, Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva, it's crazy stuff. I don't know who, you know, I'm leaning, I don't know. Maybe Anderson, I, it's hard for me to say. Are you lean, Do you have any sort of uh, feeling, gut feeling on who wins that? I don't know what to expect from Anderson at this point. I think, yeah, I know, right? I think Anderson can get it done. He's fucking, he's, his last fights, he's been looking really good. And uh, he's a fucking OG, you know? And, uh, Jake just got the advantage. He's got the uh, the age. The, he's younger. He's a lot younger. He's stronger. I don't know. You know. Yeah. It can go either way. Hard. That one's a hard, hard fight to pick. But. Yeah. By the way, when's your next he triathlon? Yeah. So triathlon season kind of just ended. Oh. We had a pretty busy summer. Yeah. Me and Nate and Nick. With yeah, all, a lot of the guys. We we hit um. We hit mostly every triathlon this summer, so Jeez. that was uh, right before Nate's fight, too. Yeah, he did one about three weeks before his, before the, like about a month ago. Yeah, up in Lake Tahoe. Uh, have you ever been out there? No. Snorkel. No, yeah. Yeah, we hit, uh, we, yeah, we hit some pretty tough ones. Uh, a lot of uh, hard exteras. Uh, How many is that? Bikes and a like when you say all or most of them, how many are you talking? Well, so there's, but I, I think we did six, six or seven. Damn, so. that's incredible. Oh, there, yeah, there, and Lake Tahoe's a uh, high altitude. It's like seven, eight thousand feet up. Clean, crisp air. It's good. Get you strong. Let me tell you something. Doctor Mike ain't doing no triathlons. You know what I'm saying? He's doing YouTube videos. All right, so he's got you know. That's right. He's got another thing coming if he thinks he can hang with you. I'm looking forward to it, Chris. October 29th. You show this YouTuber what's what, all right? Yeah, I am, for sure. All show right. you the real, the real, the the real, real fight. fight. That's right. The real fight. Ah. Uh, much respect, my friend. I'll see you out there. Thank you for coming on. Good luck to you in training. Appreciate it, Ariel. Thank you. All I'll right. Talk to you soon. Yep, there he is. Chris Avila joining us. Big fight for him, October 29th.